Today I will show you how you can do basic integration of Find a Logic Search and Suggest in 50 minutes on your modern single page JavaScript website. My name is Georg Sorst and I'm a principal engineer at Find a Logic. Let's first take a look at what we want the end result to look like. It is a search field with autocomplete functionality and the search results contain the most basic information for a product search image, name, and price. I've already gone ahead and prepared a basic project for the final logic integration. We will be using Vue.js and the Vuetify UI toolkit for beautiful results. Let's take another look at what we have right now. The app contains the same basic layout with a search field and a result grid. The search field is already wired up to the URL and will change if we submit a search. But for now it's just displaying random dummy data with some nice film and replace all the images. Our goal today is to fetch search results from the Final Logic Search API and display autocomplete suggestions as well. Here we go. Let's first take a look at Final Logic's API spec to understand how to fetch search results. You can find it online at the URL that we will also add to the description of this video. So we need to call the search endpoint with the API key or service ID as we call it and the search query. The search results are in result.items as we can see in the example response. So here is result and then items. And every search result has a name, price, URL, and image. There's much more in the response, such as drill down filters, smart did you mean, and merchandising features, but I'm going to ignore this to keep the demo simple. So let's get our hands dirty in the code and go to the results component, which is responsible for fetching search results. It has a search method where we will add the code to fetch search results from the Final Logic API, and it currently looks like this. So we now need to do these steps build the request parameters. We want a JSON response. So we're setting the output adapter and set the search query, which is already provided as a method argument. Then we fetch the search results from the API. It's https service.findalogic.com slash ps slash centralized front end. And then the shop. Just small here. Then the shop key. Then the search endpoint and the parameters. <clears throat> then we unwrap the data from the JSON response and then update the component with the search results. So this is broken now. And then we update the component with the search results we just fetched. So we're placing the result in data.result.items. This is where we can find the data in the response. This is broken, it's of course data.result. All right, this is the first step done. Our search is wired to the Final Logic API. Depending on the search query, the number of results changes. And we can also check in the network tab that the 
search query is submitted correctly. So for example, when we search for Nike, we can see here a request and we can see that the query Nike set correctly. So <clears throat> this is already fetching search results from the search API, but <clears throat> we do not display the correct result data yet. So let's move on to the next component and change the display of the search results so that we actually get the product data displayed. So let's start by setting the right image, which is contained in result.image URL. You can already see the images coming up. Then we will set the product name, which is result.name. Now we can already see the images and we'll also set the price. Let's just assume it's euros, result.price. And now we can see the price as well. And that's it. We have a working search. Um, let's try out some search terms. Let's try some brands. Oop, mistyped that. Getting Adidas results. We're getting Nike results. We're getting ASICs results. And let's say, see something a bit more longer and we get running shoes from ASICs. Let's recap this. So in the results, we are fetching the search results from the final logic API. We need to set the JSON output adapter. So we get JSON results. We need to set the query. There's of course many more parameters, but for the simple demo, that's enough. <clears throat> and we will then submit these parameters to the search API and display the results and fetch properties such as image URL, name and price from the response. So that is part two. Let's, sorry, that is part one, of course. Let's move on to part two, integrating the autocomplete function or suggest as we call it. So when we type in something in the search box, we will already get some suggestions on what we can search based on what we have typed so far. Again, let's start by checking the API spec. This time we need to call the suggest endpoint right here. And again, it is a service ID and a query. The final logic suggest API supports many different types or autocomplete blocks as we call them. So there's text suggestions. It can suggest landing pages, categories, brands, products, um, the most popular search queries promotion. So it can suggest a lot of different data, a lot of different entity types. But for the purposes of this demo, we will just focus on the regular text suggestions. And in the response, we need this application JSON type here. And in response, the text suggestions are called in a property um, contained in a property text suggestions and they all contain a text which is the actual suggestion that we want to display in the autocomplete field. So let's jump into it and this time we will be editing the search component which is responsible for the search field and also displaying the suggestions. So again we will start by building the parameters and this time we need type result v4 that's the autocomplete version that we will be using autocomplete blocks needs to be the type suggest as we saw in the spec and we will just submit the query as is oh there's colon missing all right then we will fetch the search results from the API. Again, that is service.findlogic.com slash ps less centralized front end. Then we have the shop key or service ID, suggest, and then the parameters. We will unwrap the JSON. 
and then from the response we will take the text suggestions and extract the um, text property from each suggestion. That should be it. Let's take a look at how this is working now. So as you can see as I'm typing AS I already get suggestions for A6 and I can click on a suggestion and it will submit the query. Similarly I'll type NI and I get Nike, Adidas and I get Adidas. Also there's something called Adi0 um, which is an Adidas, um, an Adidas series and yeah of course I can still just submit them as they are. That should be it. So I hope this video gave you a good impression of how easy it is to integrate Finder Logic. Of course there are many more features that we didn't touch here such as filters, pagination, different suggestion types or merchandising features such as landing pages or promotions. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to cover this in a follow-up video. And of course you can find the boilerplate code and the finished project on Final Logic GitHub's page. The link is in the description and thank you for watching.